you raise your shoulders up, I'm going to check for crepitus. Can you stick your hands out? And can you bend your elbows? No crepitus in your ribs, no crepitus in your fingers, no crepitus. And this is where you would check for muscle wasting. And can you push your hands against mine? And can you squeeze my hands? All right. And can I see your fingers? I'm gonna check for cap refill. Cap refill is less than three seconds. Nails are pink. The nail beds are smooth and have no ridges. Now I'm going to the anterior and posterior chest. The chest is a one to two ratio with no abnormalities. I'm going to percuss. And resonance was heard. And now I would auscultate and I would auscultate the bronchial, bronchial vesicular, and the vesicular. And in the back it would also be the bronchial vesicular and vesicular through here. You take a deep breath. Can you turn around for me? Deep breath. Also on the palpation, I would do the back. And now can you turn around and I will listen, you would listen with the bell and the diaphragm for the heart sounds. This would be aortic at the right second intercostal space, pulmonic on the left intercostal space, the second space, herbs point at the third intercostal space, S1 and S2 audible. Tricuspid at left intercostal costal space. Mitral at left intercostal space. No murmurs noted. So now I'm going to look at your spine and back. Can you turn to the side for me? The Cervical is concave, the thoracic is convex, and the lumbar is concave. Can you bend over a little bit for me? I'm looking for any deviation for scoliosis. I don't see any. All right. All right, can you stand up for me? Can you move from side to side and then bend forward? 
and bend backwards. All right, and you can sit down. And on the heart, I'm gonna go ahead and have you lay down. And before I assess your abdomen, I will check the point of maximum impulse. Can you lay on your left side? And that will be at the fifth intercostal space. Point of maximum impulse auscultated. So now I'm going to go to the abdomen. Can you lay down for me? And I'm going to listen for bowel sounds. Can you start with the right lower quadrant? Bow sounds are normal. The bow sounds are normal. And now I'm going to percuss. Starting with a right lower quadrant. Percussion is with timpani noted. And if you had any pain, I would palpate. And then if there was any, let me know if it's tender. And if it was tender or painful, you would palpate that area last. All right. All right, now can you sit in the chair for me? And I'm going to test the cerebellar function. Can you put your hand, touch your hands on your knees for me? Can you touch my finger? Can you touch your nose? Can you take your shin, your heel to your shin? And can you tandem walk for me? Now I'm going to assess sensory. I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to touch you with something sharp and dull and let me know which one it is. All right. And now keep your eyes closed and I'm going to touch you with something light and let me know when you feel it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. And now I am going to assess the lower extremities. Can you lay back down for me? Can you raise your legs up? Can you push against my hands? All right, I'm going to feel for crepitus. Can you raise your legs up? All right. I'm going to check capillary refill, which is less than three seconds. No beds are pink, smooth, and have no ridges. All right, can you have a seat for me? Now I'm going to assess the reflexes. So be bicep, tricep, 
brachial radialis and patellar. Can you relax your legs for me? And Achilles, which would be behind the foot. And then I would take this and do the Babinski's, which would be down the lateral side of the foot and then an upside down J and negative Babinski's. And now I'm going to assess the pulses. And on the reflexes, they would be bilaterally, two plus in a normal situation. And now the pulses, radial pulse, two plus bilaterally, brachial, two plus bilaterally, ulnar, two plus bilaterally, femoral, two plus bilaterally, popliteal, two plus bilaterally, dorsalis pedis, which would be here and here, two plus bilaterally, and then the posterior tibial. Two plus bilaterally. Um, oh, I'm going to do a finger test. So just follow my eyes or follow my finger where it goes. Okay. All right. Your movement in your eyes is good and equal. Can you stop me? Um, now I'm going to check your pupil response. So I'm going to close one eye and look. All right, you have equal pupillary response. Um, they look all look good. Um, good accommodation. All right, so I'm going to check for your ears. Look at your ears. There's your alignment looks good. They're symmetrical. The color's normal. Um, no discharge or lesions. Um, I'm going to check your preocular and postauricular and your occipital. All right, those all feel good. Um, now I'm going to do a whisper test. So I'm going to rub my fingers behind your head. You tell me when you hear it, okay? Okay, good. So I'm going to look at your nose. Your nasal structure looks good and symmetrical. Um, I'm going to check for your pulses. Now close one eye or one nostril, breathe. All right, nasal turbinates look good. There's no discharge or anything. Um, your lips look pink and moist. Good. I'm going to check your gums. Please. Okay, so moist and in pink. It's all normal, so I'm going to check your teeth. Okay, and good repair, all, all built teeth, good hygiene, good alignment, stick out your tongue for me. All right, good tongue movement, symmetrical, and good characteristics. Open your mouth farther, please, and bend your tongue. Okay, so your tonsils look good, your uvula looks good, soft and hard palates, normal. Great, so that all looks good. There's no odor or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to check your temporomandibular. Now open your mouth and close it slowly. Alright, feels good, normal. Um, no, no pricking or anything, no pain. Um, so now I'm going to look at your neck. Okay, looks good. Tracheas, midline, thyroid looks good. No venous pulsations um, on the chest, your neck strength. So push your head against me. Good. 
uh, good luck strength on the deltoids. All right, good deltoid strength. Um, um, trachea's midline, and I'm gonna look at your nodules. Only if they're any tenderness. All right, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna check your carotid pulse one at a time. Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna look at your arms. So only if there's any tenderness. Okay, now I wanna check your extra epitrochular lymph node. All right, feels like a good size. No tenderness. Um, all right, now I'm gonna check your brachial pulse. This is a two and your radial pulse. This is a two. Now I'm gonna check your strength. So can you push up against my hands? Testing bicep strength, push down, testing tricep strength, and squeeze my fingers for me. Thank you, and good grip strength. Um, now I am going to test your uh, tricep reflex. All right, so look away from me, let your arm dangle. I'm just gonna feel a little bump. Okay, good. Reflex looks good. I'm gonna look at your hands. Color looks normal. Temperature feels normal. It's a little moist. Um, cap refills good. Now put your hands, your nails together like that. Okay, now clubbing. Nails look clean. Good hygiene, thickness, and color look good. Okay, so I'm gonna look at your. Posterior chest, go over here. Um, so bumps, bruises, lesions, scars, or anything like that. So don't tell me if you feel any tenderness. Nope. Spine alignment looks good, posture looks good. Um, I'm gonna check for fremitus, so 99, please. 99, 99, 99. All right, feels good. Um, we're gonna check for expansion. Now take a deep breath for me. All right, equal expansion on both sides. Now we're gonna percuss your kidneys. All right, so now we're gonna listen to breath sounds. Just deep breaths. Can you give yourself a hug for me? All right, so that all looked, looked good. Your breath sounds were normal. You didn't hear any wheezing or anything like that. Um, your respiratory movement was good and deep, a good rhythm. Um, so now I'm going to check your chest. Symmetry looks good, your posture looks good, no lesions, scars, color looks good, hair distribution's normal. So I'm gonna do the same thing, check for fremitus, so 99. 99, 99. All right, looks good. So I'm gonna check your breath sounds. Okay, breath sounds sound good. So now I'm gonna check your Aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. I'm gonna listen for a little bit. Okay, I didn't hear any murmurs or anything of the sort, so now you're gonna have to lay down for me. Down here for you. And just scoot down a little bit. Heads on the pillow. Okay, um, so we're gonna look at your abdomen now. There's no peristalsis. Pulsations are not noticeable, no lesions, scars, bulges. Can you raise your head for me? All right, no signs of a hernia. So I'm gonna listen to the bowel sounds in all four quadrants.
Okay, bowel sounds are normal, so now it's in your aortic ventricle, and then your renal, and your iliac. Okay. Um, bowel sounds good, no signs of fruits or venous hums. Um, so now I'm going to palpate lightly, don't use any tenderness. Okay, so now I'm going to palpate deep. Okay. Everything felt normal. That wasn't... All right, good. I'm going to do your lower extremities. So tell me if there's any tenderness going down. No tenderness. Your temperature feels good. Hair distribution looks normal. No lesions, bumps, scars. Um, now I'm going to check your radial pulse. I mean, your pedal... I mean tibial pulse and I'm going to check your pedal pulse looks good no sign of tubing edema and your capillary refill looks good so now I'm going to check your range of motion so can you draw an A with your leg in the air please with your whole leg just A good you have good range of motion of your leg so that's good um I'm going to go ahead and just touch your skin so I can get your temperature, okay? And okay. just pinch your skin a little bit here and there. All right, great. So skin is warm to touch and dry. I'm going to go ahead and just pinch your skin right here, okay? I'm assessing for a skin turgor. You have good elasticity and good rebound bilaterally, okay? I'm going to go ahead and assess the nails now. The nails are rounded shape, good contour, translucent and clear. From the profile sign, there's angle roughly 160 degrees, so no signs of clubbing. I'm now going to assess capillary refill. Bilaterally, cap refill is less than two seconds. Okay, great. I'm now going to go ahead and assess the head. I'm looking at the hair. Uh, hair is evenly distributed. No signs of infestation or lesions. Looking at the head, the head is midline, uh, normal cephalic. Facial features are appropriate and they are proportionate to each other bilaterally. Skin is free of lesions, skin tone even, skin is intact. The neck is midline to the body, trachea is midline. I'm just going to move your hair so I get a look at the sides of your neck, okay, Ms. Bell? There are no signs of jugular vein distension, no impulses or pulsations of the carotid. Could you do me a favor? Take your neck, move your head up and down with your neck, and then side to side. Thank you. Patient has good range of motion. Okay. I'm now going to assess the lymph nodes. Pre-auricular, post-auricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, jugular digastric, posterior cervical chain, deep cervical chain, superficial cervical chain. Ms. Doe, can you shrug your shoulders up for me? And supraclavicular, thank you. No sign of lymph adenopathy. I'll now begin with the eyes, starting with the eyebrows. Eyebrows are noted, free of infestations. Ms. Doe, can you take off your glasses for me so I can check out your eyes? Thank you. So eyebrows are free, uh, free of infestations, no lesions, no skin breakdown. The eyelashes curl up and away, free of infestations, no lesions, no swelling, no discharge, no foreign bodies. The eye sclera is white and pink undertones, no redness, no swelling, no exudate. The bottom eyelashes curl down and away, free of infestations, no lesions, no redness, no swelling. Ms. Doe, I'm going to go ahead and just pull down your eyes so I can see the skin under your eye, okay? Great. Conjunctiva is pink, undertones, smooth and moist, free of any lesions, free of any infestations, no foreign bodies, great, no signs of ptosis. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shine this light in your eyes real quick, so I just want you to stare right at me, okay? Perfect. Perfect. Now, focus on the tip right here. I just want you to follow this with your eyes, okay? Thank you. 
So uh, eyes are perla, meaning pupils are equal in size. They are round, they reactive to light and accommodation. Now moving down to the ears, assessing the external meatus. Uh, the penna is in line with the campus of the eye. It's in alignment with the head, middle of the head, lateral to the head. I see no sign of skin breakdown. The skin is uh, free of lesions, free of infestations, free of swelling. There's no discharge, no foreign bodies. I'm assessing the back of the ear. No skin breakdown, skin is intact, free of lesions, skin tone is even. Same on this side, okay. I'm now going to inspect the internal auditory meatus. No cerumen impaction, no foreign bodies, no discharge, no swelling, no redness, no lesions. Same on this side. All right, I'm now going to palpate. Okay, now don't, I'm gonna put a little pressure in your ears. You tell me if you feel any tenderness, okay? How's that feel? It's fine. Tragus, pinna, how's that feel? It's fine. Mastoid area? It's fine. No tenderness, no swelling, no masses. Okay. Now, can I ask you quick questions about your hearing? Your hearing? Um, do you have any history of hearing loss? No. Do you use any hearing devices like hearing aids? No. Are there any environmental factors I should be aware of? Like, do you work in construction around yeah. log machinery? Okay. How do you clean your ears? Just water. Oh, good. So you don't use uh, Q-tips, huh? No, good, no. good. Very good. All right. Fantastic. If there were any signs of uh, hearing issues, I performed the Weber test, the Rene test, and the Whisper test. Uh, no piercings are noted. These are fake earrings, but no piercings are noted. Okay, now I move down to the nose. The nose is positioned midline to the face, symmetrical on both sides, skin is intact, free of lesions, skin tone is appropriate. All right, I'm gonna take a look up into your nose, okay? Assessing the nares. Mucosa is pink, smooth and moist, no lesions, bilaterally, no signs of deviated septum, free of foreign bodies. Can you go ahead and cover one nostril and take a breath for me? Like that? Great. Now the other side. Okay, we have bilateral patency of the nares. Now move down to the mouth. Lips are smooth, moist, no fissures. Can you go ahead and open your mouth now for me? Her skin color of her lips is pink. All right, can you open it a little wider? I can't take a look inside it. Great. All right, her teeth are clean, free of debris tight margin of the gum lines, all right. Look, assessing the top of the tongue, the ventral side is smooth, pink, moist. Can you lift your tongue for me so I can look underneath? All right. The anterior side of her tongue, I'm sorry, the uh, dorsal side of her tongue. Actually, I think I did mess that up. Top, that's dorsal, this is the ventral. Bottom of her tongue. It's glossy, pink, moist, free of any lesions. All right, you can put your tongue down now. Her buccal mucosas bilaterally are smooth, pink, moist, no lesions. Hard palate is pink with gray undertones, smooth, moist, no lesions. The soft palate is pink, smooth, moist with yellow undertones. Pharyngeal walls, pink, smooth, and moist. Can you go ahead and say ah for me? Ah. Uvula rises with phonation. There is no pooling of saliva or fluids. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to move down and begin to assess the respiratory system. So, patient would not have uh, their clothes on, they would have a gown, so I'd be able to have access to the actual skin. I'm now gonna go listen to your lungs and just feel your chest around, okay? So I'm looking at her lungs, looking at her chest right now. She does have equal rise and fall. Don't see any sign of accessory use or muscle uh, retractions. I see a coastal angle of roughly 90 degrees. Her transverse measurement versus her anterior posterior measurement is a ratio of roughly two to one. No signs of kyphosis, lordosis, or scoliosis. No tripod position, no respiratory distress at this time. 
appears to be equal rise and fall. I'm gonna go ahead and just touch your chest and you tell me if there's any tenderness, okay? None of this hurts? No. All right, no tenderness, no masses, no lumps. Skin is a uh, even tone, no lesions. All right, I'm now gonna do the same on the back side, posterior. Do you mind turning this way so they can see your back? All right, fantastic. So tell me if you feel any pain. No. No pain? Great. No tenderness, no masses, no lumps, no swelling. The skin is intact. The skin is warm and dry. Bilaterally, front and back, warm and dry. I'm gonna place my hands under your ribs, okay? I'm placing my hands at T9 and T10. Can you go ahead and take a deep breath for me? All right. Equal rise and fall bilaterally. I'm now gonna assess for tactile fremitus. Everything